Hello, hello. Hello. Here we are with the uh, second annual international virtual Dada Festival. This is session two. It's America's Dada Superstars. We have performers from South America, Canada, and the U.S. So uh, this uh, is going to be a fun, uh, uh, interesting evening. And uh, why are you holding up this book? I'm holding this book, which is the book we are uh, enjoying tonight and all of our contributors are from. Uh, Mentonant 15, this is our 14th issue. Oh, is that that one with 242 contributors from around the world, uh, including 33 countries? Yes, and six <laughs> continents. Next year, we're <laughs> going to have Antarctica covered too so we're going yes. to have full seven continents unless they make another country a continent too and then we'll <laughs> reach out we're going to cover all the continents as well but this is our book and you may uh, be wondering why we're here what we're doing yes. well we are the plagiarists we're the plagiarists and we Ooh. stole every germ uh, exactly uh, from the hundred years ago and we brought it here today yeah and uh, we're, we're going to let it, it into art into art we're going to let it germinate into new ideas which uh, fill this book uh maintenant 15. so uh, you right. can get a copy tonight yes. or any other time you like uh we will be uh, bringing up uh 16 of our performers yeah. of our uh, contributors inside this book from the americas tonight so uh, this yeah. is something to really uh that's right uh, and you're here with the plagiarists i'm peter karloftis i'm cat georges so we are here from we're co-directors of Three, Three Rooms, rooms Press. Press. And uh, <laughs> I, I made this fun little bit.ly thing, so it's really super easy. If you want to go uh, uh, take a look at and buy some of our um, Dada journals, we've been doing this 15 years, bit.ly slash Dada now. So simple. You can remember. Well, why even a child could remember that? A child. Okay. So Running at me a child. Uh, can't make heads or tails. All right. So let's... Um, start a little bit by talking about what's the theme of this issue this uh issue the theme number 15 is humanity the reboot after we went yeah. through uh 2020 uh that was our theme after living through that year and we thought maybe 2021 uh, would be a reboot but it's been pretty much uh, uh you know same uh, same old shit. uh you know we we aren't able to move forward uh, out of this, but we did reboot humanity inside the pages of Maintenant 15 with a lot of great ideas and, and, and so many great yeah. artists and writers. Oh, speaking of artists, on yes. the cover, we have the beautiful artwork of Cuban American artist Adele Rodriguez. This piece is called Side Effects. And if you've looked into the mirror over the last year and a half, I bet you've seen some of this flashing back at you, this fractured. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, right. not knowing, uh, uh, it's just a perfect yeah. fit for us. And His work for, has appeared on the cover many times of Time Magazine, Der Spiegel, and around the world. And um, we're so proud to have his work featured on, on the our cover. cover. Yes. Okay, so why don't you read from the introduction to this book? Okay, I'm going to read the introduction very, very okay. succinctly. Okay. And uh, it's and I'll uh, help. Humanity, the Reboot. Reboot humanity ha! Ha! with irreversible climate change, bottomless inequality, blatant warmongering, self-obsessed authoritarianism, and a widespread pandemic. Who, who needs, needs the, the same, same world, world now? now? The Beckett quote, fail better, may have held fail some better, significance in the latter stage of the last century. But at this terminus of existence, it would be impossible for humanity to fail, fail any, any better. better. This pinnacle of failure is ours to behold, and we must celebrate, as we do here, by creating that which fully reveals the extent of ruin humanity has inflicted upon our planet. Now, we, we fail, fail best. best. And yay! We're going to keep failing best, and especially all the work in this book fails best. 242 Artists. Different, different artists. It's incredible. And, writers. and throughout the book, if you read it, it's kind of like a a graphic novel, the way it starts out um, and goes forward. Um, some of the bigger names that we have, we have uh, Raymond Pettibone. We have uh, uh, Jack Hirschman, who's just recently, recently passed, passed away, away. One of the greats. Uh, we have uh, Mike Watt, the bass player of the Miniman, and Thurston Moore, and so many, many other artists and writers. So tonight we're going to talk to our, our crowd here, and we're going to, 
we're going to bring up 16 performers and we're going to start with uh, Elizabeth Ash. Come All on, right. Elizabeth. We look forward to seeing you. There's Elizabeth Ash. Hi, everyone. So, where, are, where are you, Elizabeth, right now? Are you in I'm in Washington, D.C. Yes, of course. All right. Very nice. Okay. So nice to see you. So we're going to we're going to remove ourselves and then you'll see a piece that Elizabeth did. She's all right. Hi, everyone. Awesome. So my entire life, people called me beautiful because of my hair. I was loath to cut it, not because of the compliment, but because I considered my hair protection. I grew to hate the compliments. As a freshman in college, I tried to be a vegetarian and became horribly anemic. And my hair thinned to become an attention enemy to me. As a senior, I burned off a swatch of it, welding one night, including my eyebrows. I started to see my hair as an integrated material to my art practice as a result. I dared myself to cut it off when I turned 30. As the year approached, I started mentioning it to my friends and everyone protested. They said, you look like you'll have cancer. You'll look like a dyke, which really was not a problem because I am one. They said, you haven't the cheekbones. They said, you'll look Auschwitz. I met my girlfriend, now ex, during my MFA thesis in grad school. After my project was installed, I asked her to cut it off for me. We recorded the audio of the conversation and the process. Now, we learned a lot about each other and what we thought about beauty in this conversation. Um, it was an intimate for a young relationship. And then I edited the audio down to about eight minutes. Now, after that, every following statement from others was a compliment. The tide had switched. My outward beauty shifted to my eyes, which is what I wanted. They are my father's eyes. They are how I knew him the one and only time we met. I decided to keep my hair buzzed. I finally felt beautiful that I fit the uniform I needed for myself and my art. I also kept the hair after each haircut for the, well, basically for the last nine years. For the first six years, I let it grow some between cuts and I put it away in jars. This hair is what became the barbed wire sculpture I'm using for this photo series. At this point, the cord is about 80 feet long. And in the last few years, except for the pandemic, I had cut it very frequently um, towards like half, under half an inch long. And this hair is too short to do anything with, except to think of it as a drawing material. So I'm using it for that as well. And during the pandemic lockdown, I let my hair grow again, then cut it after I received my Vax doses this spring. And I no longer looked me, looked like me with long hair. It felt as if I'd become some comedic sitcom mom from the 90s who didn't have much to say. Now, the title of this series is Buzz Buzz, which is a nod to Hamlet. It's one of the, to my opinion, one of the best comedic lines in Shakespeare. Hamlet was speaking to Polonius, banishing him as if he were some silly bug with nothing to say. With a buzz cut, I feel like I cut through the fret and the nonsense. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Ash, very that was beautiful. Beautiful piece. Thank and, you so and much. It's enlightening to know that that was your actual hair. My actual hair. The, the thing. Uh, one more time on the picture. Here. Wow. Incredible. And that is inside the book. Mentano. Mentano 15. So All right. Elizabeth's piece. Thanks Thank so you much. so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Elizabeth. Okay. We'll see you on the other side. Okay. All right. All okay. right. Thank you. Next up. Next up, we have uh, the Bennetts. We're going to take Catherine or John first. I'm not sure. Bring them up, and uh, I guess they can pick whom they want or work right. together. Are so you guys a team like you. us? We're, I, would you just do it, John? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. That was Donna. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're John a team. Bennett and she, uh, Merle Bennett, here they are. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, my piece in Montanat is over here, offerings, 
to 2021. And John's piece is on the other side of that leaf. And he did this piece with Texas Spontanella. And he, did, he feels this is a visual poem and he's not going to read this. So um, he's going to read a piece from his new book, Ojihete. Ojihete. Ojihete, yes. And we also have um, a joint poem that we wrote together that we'll read. But this, first off, is a poem that I wrote. Um, I was thinking about giving it the title of a joke, like uh, um, an ear walked into the bar, a bar, but I'm really bad at telling jokes. So uh, the title is The Eighth Bar Stool. An aromatic paper ear with automatic drip rests on the eighth bar stool. Rats enter gap made by deer tracking sand dust onto the wood floor. The pesto king flings adverts at the door. The doctor targets fish for medicinal products. The prez mends our bridges with tax dollars from car traffic, cleans up pipe, pipes for water. Santa elopes with a life-size dowel, but then he lost a mitt and the dowel caught cancer. The Loch Ness Monster felt terrible about it, so he made a tax-deductible contribution from his bar stool next to the dripping ear. So that's that one, and now we have... Now we have a joint poem that we wrote this year. I will begin. Go ahead. Suit wipe. World's a mirror, your foothead weeps weeds through an opening in a traffic cone, through a closing in the exo exosphincter made from ramen noodles. Your spine dreams of squirrel traffic, burning on the wires and sending signals through an opening in the laundry bins, quivering water fall of full of dirty socks. Shirts, lip, crusted with salt, anchor in your mouth with sardines, pool of weaving water, births, bagels, head feels heavy with nouns and verbs. Wipe suit. All right, I'm going to read a poem from uh, Ojihete. published by Luna Bisonte Prades, which is our press. We live here in Columbus, Ohio. <clears throat> okay, egg fog. John M. Bennett hacks Jim Leftwich's I Remember Petroleum. Quibble on the moon, syllables, nozzle, food alarm. Tumba, abierta, ah, 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 ah. corn vapor foot, un sueño, invisible, unzip your flapping letter. Oh, fusilanime, inner windshield, pulgas dissolving in a vanished poem, arms meet curse. Tu buboca es would jerk so slow if jerked SOS low, loud ridged utility knife, the soil boiling if soil were boiled, escupitazo subjuntivo shines in your rising hand. <sighs> Gate and mask, egg and fog, <sighs> and El acento que se revela de uno el origen. Stand in line to pee with a chicken sandwich. Fucking a book. Words out of proportion. A trombone dictionary. Grinds lip id visions. Doubtful was a moon flow job. We won the jolted, jolted time. Gnaw your neck. 
uh, shoe. If boiled, uh, glue were rusty kite, uh, rusted rust ling. Here, wait, show them the picture. The oh, okay. Let's see. It's pretty hard to see anything on this system, but. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Is it egg, egg fog. fog? Okay. Yeah. I love so it's that. Kind of interesting typography. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. fantastic. You should see, you know, what's interesting too is on the Facebook stream, which I'm just kind of like glancing at at the end of my eye, um, they have, they do an automatic um, subtitles. And it's very interesting to see the subtitles that they had for that. They poem. chose for your <laughs> words there. No, I guess it gets pretty garbled. It's like the old yeah. uh, well, translation. They chose, it's good. They it's chose good. words. So uh, what, what's great though is they did is they did um, put stars instead of the curse word. Yeah. So oh, there yeah. you go. Morons. Welcome to the future. Uh -huh, yes, morons. <laughs> right. We're uh, we're surrounded by them, but we have a book that. Uh, we don't we don't put stars where the cross no, where the first words are. Uh, <laughs> we connect to people all over the world, and uh, we're very happy to connect yeah. with both of you. Thank you so much for yes. coming on the live stream and for are keeping gonna... Dada alive in Columbus, Ohio, yes, and yes. around Thank the world. Thank you so much. We your look work forward is legendary. To your work every year. Yeah. Thank you, and we'll put you back in the green room and bring we're up. Gonna take them all. Okay, we're going to bring up now Anthony yeah. Cox. Anthony Cox is coming, who's going to be representing Anna O'Meara, plus Luca Valino. He'll tell you more about that. There is hey, everybody. Hi. Representing Nada in Chicago. It's good to see you. Uh, we have here um, three poems about America's promise, and uh, they're all basically responses to uh, Francois-René de Chateaubriand's a uh, poem here that we have, uh, Luca and Anna uh, did the translation and the two other poems are uh, also translations of sorts. Uh, first, um, we have our past poem and our present poem on uh, immigration, uh, how the realities of that now. And of course, uh, we have my poem at the end, which is a sort of translation, even though I don't really know any languages. So I just sort of held the original poem in a mirror and uh, tried to sort of imagine that it was some kind of ancient uh, language I had maybe forgotten. So uh, we'll just go ahead and read these poems. And uh, we'll, I know everyone's really busy. We'll just let everybody go on. So uh, to begin uh, with our Chateaubriand. The Eternal Lord revealed his plans for America to his beloved son. He has been preparing the human species in this region of the world for redeemed existence. Man, by enlightening himself with ever-growing, never-fading lights, must rediscover the initial sublimity. Whence original sin had forced him to fall, sublimity the human spirit might again achieve thanks to Christ's redemption. But the ruler of heaven allow Satan a moment of triumph for the atonement of some particular sins. The devil, enjoying free reign given to his rage, seizes and births all opportunities for evil. And next for Anna O'Meara's poem, Money is for Forms. Here across the oceans, God men rifles wait in empty fields. You're afraid of the dark, and you're afraid of being seen. This country tells us that it has lost its soul, but we remember its stone core. The sublimity of fire, wine country explodes, convulses, cries. The sublimity of snow, Barak Mudachod. You ask me when I'll close my door. We have a plan that has a backup plan that has a backup plan. We have credit. Money is for forms. Money is for the backup plan of the backup plan. You have a timer on you. You have a decision hovering over your head. The decision spreads an umbrella, shedding ever-growing, never-fading darkness. But Bane, Bane, who nah. Sorry, not very good at Hindi. Uh, Anna is though. Um, and next, uh, my poem, "The Tree of Liberty." 
<clears throat> no sequence manual error are corrupt below you. Snow envelops skin or acrimony, roof snails, curl leaves, lanterns, early gnawing evil, relative flashing preternaturally yielding, name. Exiting beleaguered red bellows, errant through vacated cities, emerald language before unlimited litanies, surely to territories withheld, struggles, private revelries running unlit caves, sterile for night chambers buried for eternity, no elderly encoded belief buried intimately, ultimately. Light, still reluctant for another to be reborn, no requiem for tremors or nature swallowed never. To live for excessive silence, the sinister banal seizure, treading white, belittled eagle, the moth frightened. And that's it. All right, Anthony. All right, Thank you. Anthony yeah, we, we Thank have, you. We have a question from, uh, uh, from one of our team, uh, people watching. Uh, what is the badge? Oh, the badge? Oh, you said to come as I wasn't. Ah, and I, I, I don't have a lot of clothing great. options. I was just like, well, this is basically <laughs> in the Midwest, your standard issue to cop uniform. I don't know if anybody else knows that. We were. <laughs> so, yeah, we just, uh, I just took that out of the closet. All right. I, thought I would represent America's present, which will hopefully be abolished. <laughs> you did it. Soon. Okay. With well, no thank blood you. shed. Thank, thank you. you so much, and thank you thank also you for to, being uh, for coming as you are. Uh, thank you to Anna, Amira, and <laughs> thank Luca. You. Thank you, Luca. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Marino, Marino. Okay, Marino. so we're moving right along, and this is the second annual international virtual Dada Festival session to America's Dada superstars. Um, is we are representing celebrating Medina fifteen work this that's in there. All the work that's in there are uh, 242 artists and writers uh, from 33 uh, countries uh, and six continents. Uh, next year, we'll get it right and uh, have seven. Okay. We're going to have all seven continents, right. I promise. So um, uh, we please help us welcome to the stage the next person who is a contributor to the book, Logan K. Young. Hey, Logan. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Where, where are you, Logan? I am out here in Centerville, Virginia, the hardcore suburbs of Washington, D.C. All right. All right. Uh, cool. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, to the, uh, welcome to the virtual. Well, life. thank you very much. Thank you All very right. much. Take it away. Take it away. All right. Perfect. Yeah, I, uh, I guess I took the theme, um, Humanity Rebooted, uh, quite literally, and wanted to um, maybe have uh, some computational help with that. So maybe a, a bit of a, a brief introduction, which is from the book, uh, and then I'll uh, get to the actual process that it, that it, that it created. Um, this piece is called Will Work for Jaurès, and it's uh, this admittedly helplessly idiosyncratic uh, PN to fin de siècle socialism that generates a new page of variable auxiliary actions, and that's the black stuff in the code here, black text, uh, that's for sensibly the late Jean Jaurès, 1859-1914, uh, it generates this each and every second. You'll see why in a moment. Um, now, my conjuring can't be considered wholly corporeal uh, until the said code is typed out into a simple text editor, uh, then saved as the uh, HTML codec, and that file name then opened in one's browser of choice. Uh, a la those old input your own adventure uh, days from the uh, PC, personal computing uh, zines of yore. Um, while I've, you know, published and even uh, tried to, to read some of this stuff uh, aloud before, this kind of size-coded computational posy a priori, I call it, uh, there's a manifest urgency here who's unrelenting, I think I've ceased to capture before. Um, this code actually compiles and executes uh, a poem hyphen with parameters or, or browser dependent. Um, but insofar as a text piece that actually compiles uh, the source code of a web page, which I just called Jaurès, um, as well as the Java text uh, for JavaScript for the text generation, um, the idea being that it's only fully summoned when workers themselves type it all out. So again, that's just the sort of code. I've got a web browser here that's generating that. And I will present to you now which you, I think, maybe really want to hear, um, will work for Jaurès uh, as it compiles in this code. 
Workers will learn Jerez. Workers will die for Jerez. Workers must know Jerez. Workers can hear Jerez. Workers must know, must learn Jerez. Workers won't know that workers can see and hear Jerez. Workers can know Jerez. Workers must know Jerez. Workers don't know where workers can't die for Jerez. Workers learn Jerez. Workers see Jerez. Workers will kiss Jerez. Workers must hear that workers can kiss Jerez. Workers hear Jerez. Workers die for Jerez. Workers will die for Jerez. Workers won't kiss that workers must see that workers will die for Jerez. Workers can know Jerez. Workers must hear that workers must die for Jerez. That can kiss Jerez. Workers don't see Jerez. Workers learn Jerez. Workers must die for Jerez. Workers don't know Jerez. Workers die for workers that must live for Jerez. Workers will see Jerez. Workers won't know Jerez. Workers will learn for Jerez. Workers must hear Jerez. Workers must die for Jerez. Workers must learn. Workers must kiss. Workers must know Jerez. Workers must know that workers won't hear Jerez. Workers kiss Jerez. Workers won't learn Jerez. Workers can kiss that workers don't die for Jerez. Workers don't hear Jerez. Workers won't die for workers that won't kill Jerez. Workers can know Jerez. Workers won't hear Jerez. Workers can learn that workers won't hear, that workers won't die for dress. It goes on and on like that uh, for perpetuity, really. That's fantastic. So, Yay. Thank you, it's Lord. It's like a Jerez pie, huh? There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Very, very and, tasty. Uh, we, we know the, the avenue or the uh, in, in Paris for Jerez, and uh, we've done some uh, research on him, an interesting uh, man. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll have you know that before we actually put your piece, agreed to put your piece in the book, I did run the code just to make ah. sure that it was something that was like good. And it was actually really fantastic. What you can do is you can get the book and then you can type in the code into your computer and then you generate this ongoing infinite poem of Logan K. Young's. And that was just fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank All you, Peter, right. again. So we'll okay. see you on the other side, Logan. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely, guys. Uh, Take care. Thank you so okay. much for appearing with us uh, right. on our Mentonaut uh, 15 at America Dada Superstars. Okay. Thank you. So, um, so we have, uh, this is number 15. We have done 14 of these. Number one was prepared by uh, Arthur Gravon in 1913. He was doing Mentonaut way back then. He had a wheelbarrow and he would walk through like racetracks or anywhere with his two, three, four page zine. Uh, but he was putting down art uh, all over France and uh, selling him for whatever he could get at the racetrack. So he's our he's our muse, he's our inspiration. And we took it on from there and we've done 14 of these. We skipped number one. Right. And uh, so there you go, okay. get a copy. And now we're, we're pleased to welcome to our uh, Dada stream, uh, Donna, the great <laughs> alias, Fauna, Joy, Hi. Curious. Hi, take it away. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm on my phone, so this is kind of strange. Um, what do I do? Do I just point to my to my art? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Yeah, just, just point it right at your art. It's fine. Point your phone at the art and it'll show up. We did this in LA yeah. with 14 people. Like, so I was showing like this. Different All people. Right. However, yeah. you want to do it, whatever you want the phone to see, it doesn't have to see you at the same time. Yeah, Take the phone it. back to you when you want to talk. There right. you go. Perfect. Okay. If you could see this. Okay. This is Saving Face. And it's on dead bark. And it's kind of ironic that she's saving face by concealing it with a mask, don't you think? Kind of weird. And yet she's fully naked. And that's my Dada piece. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. very good. Loud and clear. Yeah, loud and clear. Oh, All okay. Right. I, I couldn't hear. And then I had a another weird one, my my booby bird. I don't know if you could see it. My booby bird can't buy a bra in town, too small. And then uh, my abue my my abuela pollo with her chicken feet. This is my understanding of Dada. I think I was born Dada. 
Can you see it? This is not easy. Okay. All right. I love how these pieces come together. Just turn it around real quick uh, for one more time. Uh, these pieces are are beautiful. The um, the that you're combining different elements like nature with a mask and and the chicken feet with the woman and uh, the boobs on the parrot, and it's all all kinds of fun going on there. It's nice. So thank you. So, thank you so much for. for we love saving this. face. Thank you for your piece in oh, mentioning on fifteen. Right. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you for Thank having you for me. for being a part of this. You're in Texas, right? Yes, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. All right. All right. We're all over okay. the place. Yeah. We are yeah. in the America. So Thank you so much you. for joining us. Thank you. Okay. So Thank do you. I just click myself out uh, of here? Yeah. We'll take you we'll off take or you off take yourself and, yeah. off. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So Thank you. All right. So our Donna You're show talking, is man. coming along so and... And what we're going to do is we're going to have a couple more readers before we get to the uh, the kind of like a, a, a great film. So stay tuned for that. We have two more readers. And the first one is Gerald Yell. Please welcome to the stage, Gerald Yell. Hi, Gerald. Open it up. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, Very good. Thank good. You. Where this are you? Are you up? Uh, you're up in the in in uh, New England, or yes, Amherst, Mass. Amherst, right, right, right. Where where Emily Dickinson lived her whole life. Basically. That's right. Very good. Have Very you ever been to her house? Oh yes, I have. Yes. Nice. Well, I hope to get there. Talks about her and all kinds of good stuff. Ah. <laughs> all right. Okay, but, we're going to turn it over to you. Take right, it away. Thank take it away, Gerald. Thank you. This is this is really good. I really I'm really enjoying this, and thank you for putting it on. And uh, this is a piece. It's on page uh, seventy-eight of the maintenance, and it's called "Something's Not Right." I tried returning this bag to the shop, but they said no. Too full of emptiness. I said, "Look, that's the problem. It's got too much balance, too much systemic neglect." They said, "You might want to have a seat." You might want to get the blood work instead of waiting for the vernal migration. The noise may make you blind. The index of persuasion could be nearer than you think. I had no idea what any of it meant, but that didn't stop them. They said the wrong person could take over before anyone gets a chance to decipher the message and explain it properly. The next thing you know, someone innocent gets blamed. And then what happens? You get arrested for treason, thrown in the frying pan, and no one lifts a finger to spring you. You send for your shithouse lawyer. The cover-up would take longer than you thought you had time for. Your heart could beat out of control. You'd be the butt of the blame game. By then I was begging them to stop. The people in line behind me were starting to think my condition was permanent. Thank you so much, Peter and Kat. This is really an amazing thing that you guys are doing. Thank I you so it. much, right. Cheryl. It's wonderful for you to join us yes. and read your piece from the book and help us bring the book to life and uh, for being a part of the book. It's an honor to have your work uh, in, in its pages. All right. Thank you. I feel Thank the same. You. Thank right. you. All right. So we are now getting up to... Uh, just about up to our midway point, and we are so thrilled to welcome to the stage a surrealist and Dadaist poet and and oh. author Janet Hamill. How are Yay. you, Janet? I'm doing fine, thanks. It's great to see well, you guys. You. Great to see you. All right. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all, all you do. I know so much goes into this, and it's really appreciated. You know? Yes. And if you can so. get an Arctic in here next year, that's great. Absolutely. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I should get some seals, you know. Uh, <laughs> Empire, no, Empire Penguin. Empire yeah. Penguin. So, uh, That's a good idea. All yeah. right, so get it. Take well, it I away. was uh, with all this uh, madness. Um, well, I don't know how else to refer to it all, but the state of the world was thinking about uh, how do we reboot, and uh, so I was thinking about the beginning, the origins, going back to the beginning, and. Um, especially with regard to Greek mythology, before the gods came along, uh, everything, the elements at least of the earth came from an egg. 
So I wrote a whole series about eggs and the birth of the universe. So this is called Oval Mass, and it goes like this. An oval mass of golden eggs slides out of the sky's birth canal. Jelly-like eggs of fish and frogs, thousands and thousands of eggs waiting on the warm white beaches. Snakes, turtles, and pterodactyls lay tinged and dappled eggs and brood over the unavoidable rush of time. Scrambled, poached, boiled, and fried eggs. That's it. Thank you. All right, That's Janet. It. That Thank you beautiful. so much, Janet. I love the spread too. On the other side, there's an egg drawing, or what is it? There's something great in your spread, uh, right across from your poem. There's in the back. No, no, in your in the book. Uh, oh, right across, uh, oh, okay. And across yeah. from me. Oh, let me see. I'll see. Okay. Let me see. I'll I'll hold it up. Yeah, hold it up. Two thirty six. Two thirty six. Um. If you don't mind, not at all. I have to put the old spectacles on here. Two thirty-six. So you you did that intentionally? Oh, it looks it really brought both. I didn't even. Catch it. Yeah. I didn't catch it. All right, let me show everybody. All right. Two thirty-six. Come on. Yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm thinking page two thirty-six. The page I'm on in in uh, this now this uh oh here oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, All right. Oh, I just looked at the here. title. I had I was aware of the image, but I wasn't aware of the title. Oh, right. here it is. And this is by um, Sergey Lacan. Sergey Lacan. And it's called "We're All Eggs." <laughs> oh, there Indeed. you go. Whole Indeed, works excellent. Together. Excellent. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, and, uh, we're going to okay. take you off and uh, watch for the rest right. of the show at uh, on the Facebook or YouTube and everybody yeah. else out there. Please continue watching. We've got a fun video for you uh, we, here. Before we start our second half, we are proud to present a video that was uh, contributed by Haida Hatri and Jane LaCroix. So. Um, here we go. Here comes the video. Okay, enjoy. In the morning at four, our mom woke us up. Quickly, jump into your stable clothing. There are too many rats. Dad? Manure canal with water. Rats can swim, but not for very long. Soaking wet rats peeked out of it. Soaking wet rats climbed out of it. Soaking wet rats cleaned their little faces. Dad handed us shovels and said, You only have to strike when the rat is coming out. Mom ran to the first and hit it with strength. Dad hit the hay fork right into its spine. Soaking wet rats ran around. Soaking wet rats were full of fear. One soaking wet rat, she was dead. I thought to myself, I will not do this. Then one ran towards me and I smashed it hard. There was no space left on the hay fork. All skewered rats screamed and fidgeted. Wet rats were 
with all my hands. I peed in my pants and screamed out loud. Soaking wet rats made me fear them. Soaking wet rats were everywhere. Soaking wet rats made me alert. Soaking wet rats. because it was just cow shit sticking to my shovel and falling onto my hands. I thought to myself, I'll never do this again. I'll never do this again. And I understood that nobody can force me. Soaking wet rats were all dead. Soaking wet rats made me aware. Soaking wet rats made me aware who I am and that I can decide and that I can decide. That's all we need are soaking wet rats. Woo! Welcome to the second half of our session two of our international virtual Dada Festival. Part Tonight, one, part two. This is part two of the Americas. I had, this uh, is part one of the Americas, but this is session part two, two of the show. Okay, so uh, we are so excited to be here. We have eight, eight performers who Seven. are going to knock your knock your mind for a loop. Da, 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 da. So da -da. we're gonna uh this go... is of course our book, right? Mention on 15, right? And, and just so you know, this is poets a... and writers uh and six uh continents and right. We've been grades. publishing Dada Journal uh, annually 14 for 14 years. You can you can see all of the most recent ones if you go to bit.ly slash dada now. You can see all of yes. our volumes and and get a copy of this right. one, which is collector's item. Right. So uh, we're going to welcome first to our stage. We're going up up north. To we're going the up to, the, the, to the, the Canadian border. We're going across to get the Kathleen. border. We're not going to worry about vaccinations. We're going across the border. That's right. We can go right across the border Kathleen without Kathleen Flores. Uh, ten day, uh, there she is, Kathleen. Welcome. Hey. hey, hey. All right. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. It's actually really warm here, surprisingly. Oh, yeah. Cool. Good. All right. <laughs> May okay. it last as long as it can. So yeah, yeah, uh, maybe. Um, exactly. Not too long. All right. We're so gonna... I'm so glad to be part of this. Yeah. We're happy to have you. Okay. Tonight. Go for it. All right. So my piece is actually a, a collage. Uh, so for for the for the performance tonight, I wrote a piece called Why We End, and it's specific to this wonderful theme. Molecules follow the rules, and molecular structure is ruptured by a planet under siege, by a body under siege, seizing minds, stealing time with distractions, one more thing for sale. Future warriors are fighting now, not in silicone suits and tall boots following Captain Kirk around. We aren't letting Lucy stay in the shadows or keep the status down, and some scarred and fragile hearts hurt by a system that blames women are joining forces with a confederate flag philosophy under the guise of artfully planted lies they're still making plans for destruction neo-nazis are burning books again calling their art crap again calling you their friend one hand on your shoulder comrade another one stroking your anger what makes you mad will never heal in a room of all day brainwashing those who tell you what you want to hear, repeat, 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 repeat what you say. Lines of philosophy you share know how to manipulate you. Warriors of the future are fighting now. Some only fight 
to win sword or pen, to poison the well, to swell the heads of monsters with blame seeds, neatly spinning stories for sympathy, crushed by the world that isn't what it used to be. Crushed by a house on fire, a forest cut down, a river floating death in an emerald New Year's Eve gown, madness drunk on siphon stories, begging for change as we all rotate, spinning, spinning, spinning in space. This world has a ribbon tied around each day and it opens one sweet deed at a time. Thank you so Beautiful. much. Once we did it at a time. You know, you know, Kathleen, with the right. with right now with the supply chain command and the paper shortage, uh, they've even gone farther than of course they used to burn the books. And we think about that kind of science fiction like uh, Fahrenheit four five one type burn book burning, but now without paper. Uh, they don't even need a fucking match. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's no book to no burn. Book. So, uh, right. you know, let's uh, let's keep fighting. We're we'll put books into the world, and that's our battle. And we're going to continue to do it, and we're going to do it with you. Right. Right on. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you okay? so much. Okay. Stay on. Stay, stay on, on the thing. We'll, we'll bring up later. Okay. Later. All okay. Right. And now, all the way from Peru, please welcome to the Dada stage. Giovanni Mangiante. Hey. Hello. hello. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's the first time I'm reading live. Yeah. Fantastic. You're on. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be reading you uh, two poems, one from 8915 and another one from my upcoming uh, book, uh, Poems Written Under Peruvian Winters. All right. So the first one is called 2021 Now in Theaters. I've never been a fan of reboots because most of the time they only exist to ruin a timeless masterpiece. Now imagine a reboot of a timeless shit show, but I'll stay positive just this once. Although I can see myself arms open as a meteor buries itself into earth and then suddenly waking up on earth 2.0, muttering to myself, oh, for fuck's sake, not again. All right, and now I'm gonna read the second poem. This is more a confessional type of poem, but it made me think back in those days of how I wanted my world to be, to have a reboot. This is called Childhood Fragment Number 13. During first grade, a kid would walk towards me from behind and punch me on the lower back if I did anything that annoyed him. He disliked that I spoke to his friends. He disliked I was a new kid. Most of the abuse arrived unexpected, a sniper rifle inside the classroom. Once, the teacher ordered no one should get up from their seats, and when I turned to see my assigned bully, I saw that fist crawling out of his eyes, his head, his pencil, and notebooks. I imagined in his head he'd already snapped my back in two. I forgot one day about the no standing up rule and felt the knuckles teaching me something outside that year's syllabus. He grinned. I approached the teacher, told her what happened. Well, you should sit down then, she said. I made my way back to my desk. He grinned from his. The teacher went back to grading papers. No other kid in class took a second to look up. They knew him, not me. I remember when he tackled me and delivered two strikes with the precision only a kid with burning rage has. My spine rattled. Face down on the floor outside the classroom, I thought of my mother cooking lunch, and I thought of my father at work. Thank you. All right, Giovanni. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank oh, you for right. having me. Those are some Thank strong you so much pieces. for Thank joining so us. Much. Uh, from, are you in Lima? Is that uh, correct? Or? Yeah, I'm currently in Lima. I've always been here, never, never left, actually. Right, right, right. <laughs> We, we send right. some books sometimes to uh, Texas, though, for you, right? Yes, yes, mainly on 14, and also this one, 15. Right, yeah, right. yeah. So all right. That's, uh, Good. But uh, it's, it's nice to be uh, have you connected. Yeah, from to see down your face, there and, and congratulations. And, and, and congratulations on uh, your first reading. Yes. Thank you so much for right. It was a pleasure. It was yeah. here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, here we are. We are the plagiarists. Yeah. We are here to uh, steal uh, the. the uh, Steal the uh, last uh, pandemic from uh, the Spanish flu epidemic and bring it here today, germ by germ, 
uh, to bring exactly as it was in the and, form of art. Yeah, in the form of art. So okay. this is our art. Form. And next up, please welcome to the stage Allison Ross. Hey there. Hey, Allison. How are y'all doing? Good. Good. Where, where are you coming from? Atlanta, Georgia. All, All right. right. We got the Dada down here too. We got the Southern Dada thing going on. Cool. Let's hear some. All right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. So um, my poem is on uh, page 165. Thank you all so much for uh, publishing it. Um, anyway, it's called uh, Multifoliate Echoes. This is the way the world ends, not with an echo, 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 but shriek. Time eclipses the sun and the moon hollows to a howl. Static sings the alphabet of the mute and purgatory erupts from the earth's blind soul. Dementia's shadows lengthen, enigma erases nightmares and sculpts dreams out of sunlit eyes. Music colors the soil with loud swirls and the sounds radiate into perpetual stars. This is the way the world begins, not with a shriek, but an echo, 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 echo. Thank you very much. Yeah, Kelly Allison from Atlanta, Georgia. And look at those shades, man. Can I, know, I see right? this one more time? Groovy, groovy, groovy. Yeah. Yeah. They are groovy. groovy. <laughs> it's an honor to have you in our book. And yes, thank you. Right. keep keep creating. And we are going to yeah. uh, uh, and, look forward to your uh, next uh, uh, submissions. submission. So. And stay yeah. here with the Green Room. We're going to get together for a little Dada da chant at the end. Awesome. Okay. okay. All right. Wow, so now, yes. we have quite a show going on. Yes, don't we, we do. Yes, we do. We okay. have next coming up from our town up here. Uh, we're in uh, in the village, and she's uptown on the east side. Samantha Steiner. Hey, Samantha. hi. Welcome. Welcome. It's so wonderful to be here and to be your neighbor. Oh, uh, yeah. We hey, are neighbor. We're, <laughs> nowadays, we're neighbors. Look at us. We're right next right. to each other. I can... <laughs> All right. So um, I have artwork in me, not, in me. I am here to show you some stuff from behind the scenes. So this is my personal planner, my calendar, where I actually write down what I do each day, but I also draw inside of it. So if this gives you a sense, these are watercolors, very light on the water and heavy on the color. This is a scene that I did. Here we've got a little more Dada-ism. Does it make sense? No. Does it matter? No. These are books that I've read during the keeping of this notebook and the list is growing and words that I've learned. And as we move on, each page has on one side art that I did myself. These are more watercolors and then my calendar. So we're starting here in June, 2021. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday across the bottom and my own little code, my plans each day. So as we move right along, these are more watercolors. Again, I use watercolor in a way that usually does not look like what you'd expect for watercolor. It's kind of an explosion of color going on here. And thinking about humanity, the reboot, there's a lot of biological imagery here and a lot of pandemic imagery. This to me looks like a plant cell wall. As we keep going, I was going to fill up the whole page with this design, but I like the empty space and I might do something different with it now. Here I look at this and I ask, am I a square or am I a circle? What's happening? Moving right along. Now, what month are we in? We are in July and I did some collage here. I cut up some circular stickers so that you couldn't even see what they were. And I made this sort of underwater scene. I'll leave it to you to interpret. This is more collage. You can see this is paper I glued onto the page. This I call string theory. And here I punched holes in the page. I actually took a hole puncher to it and, uh, and messed with the whole system. And on this page, it does one job and on the next page, it does another. And so those holes are sort of doing double duty. I like turning 2D mediums into 3D mediums. Again, more biological imagery, very plant-like. I let my purple paint sort of explode across the page and then I outlined every shade in silver. This is one of my favorite pages in here. This is a brachial plexus. So humanity, the reboot, here is where the nerves of the neck uh, trace their way down into the shoulder and eventually to the fingertips. 
And moving on, here we've reached September. So we're getting some fall colors. And this to me looks like a tiny toy town. More geometry, more colors, more things that don't make sense. This is a little diagram of a heart. And to me, this looks like a geode. And moving right along, I went to a friend's wedding. It was an Indian wedding. And so you can see the imagery is sort of like henna. It's inspired by that. This is, I have some family in California. And so this is the Bay Area uh, transportation map. You can see all the, the stations in San Francisco and around. And so finally, we're catching up to the present day. This is October. I cut some windows into the page itself. And so those windows, again, do double duty. And this is last week. I'm still filling it in. I'm still painting it. And finally, this week. And you can even see today we have a Dada live stream. So thank you so much for letting me share this. It was wow. a Thank you. That Samantha was fantastic. Tanner. Thanks yeah. for uh, putting us in your calendar. We're uh, most uh, Everybody uh, loves again. your art. We got so many comments. Love is suffused with color. Jane LaCroix was Fantastic in the video. Thank you so much. Got wet rats. She loved it. Yeah. You can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Steiner underscore reads. If you follow me, I, I would be honored and I will follow you too. I'd love to see your art. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you Stay very on much. And we'll, we'll, uh, Stay on. We'll, we'll bring do a dot chat later. a little bit. Okay. Uh, since it looks like here, why don't you play that other video for a few minutes? Okay. We've uh, got another old old Dada video. We're going to play for about a minute or so. Yeah, just... we're just going to show you a little bit. People, Dada is has been going on since the early 1900s. This particular video is from 1928. And um, I just wanted to share it with you. So. through and block him off hide that okay this it, video is fantastic you can find it on youtube it goes on for a while it's beautiful what i love especially at the beginning is they say um the nazis destroyed the sound version of this video proving that even objects are able to revolt against uh totalitarianism so uh uh you know we're we're revolting against totalitarianism with our our little book and it's a labor of love and we really appreciate it if you could you know get get a copy and help keep this thing going uh that was the uh the uh creator of that video by the way was hans hans richter so now we are so excited to bring up our next performer that would be none other than jennifer hello Hello, Jennifer. So nice to see you. Nice hey. to see you too. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Where are you? I am in Newton, Kansas, and I am right. here in my kitchen so that I can share the recipe for a Facebook rant, which is here on page twenty-three, opposite this wonderful Facebook-themed um, artwork. So. I will uh, invite you to read along with me, and uh, we will do the recipe for a Facebook rant. So I'm going to start by putting on my oven mitts here and get my pie plate. So, recipe for a Facebook rant. Ingredients. Fear. Fear-mongering. Perceived injustice. Sense of self-righteous anonymity. Emotional insecurity. Incohesion, nightmares and or displaced dreams, optional to taste. Filling options, political dissatisfaction, paranoia, 
misplaced and recalled childhood and or adult trauma, existential angst, any of the isms, classicism, nationalism, racism, sexism, etc. Directions. Preheat oven to 451 degrees Fahrenheit. Liberally grease a cookie sheet with incohesion. The more disjointed, the better. This will prevent sticking. Now, I'm using this pie plate, so I didn't wind up having to grease it. Mix fear, fear-mongering, perceived injustice, and emotional insecurity in a large bowl until blended. Don't overmix. You want the resulting batter to be clingy and sticky, but not rubbery. Knead mixed batter with sense of self-righteous anonymity and roll out evenly to create a wall of text. Sprinkle rolled out dough with nightmares and or displaced dreams to taste if desired. Cut into whatever shape you like and make the argument that this shape is the best shape ever and that anyone who disagrees is biased. Wrap cut shapes around chosen filling, pinch edges to seal, and arrange on a cookie sheet. Bake until done, should be slightly smoldering, and smell of burnt egocentricism. So let's see how this goes. We're going to just kind of add our ingredients here to our pie plate. And pop this in the oven here. And so, like any good cooking show, I already have the finished version right here. Because you always do these things like that. And so here we are. Here is our recipe for a Facebook rant, a.k.a. my dinner. And that would be that. So thank you very much. That's great. Yay. That was fantastic. I'm glad that you're going to eat food. So I'm glad we didn't keep you from yeah. the food too long. It's especially great to see it on Facebook. So, uh, <laughs> On Facebook rant, right. everybody can watch it uh, on Facebook, so that's uh, wonderful. Yeah. And Great. plus, uh, I'm glad you showed the one, one next to you as well. I really love that piece uh, as yeah. well. So very yeah. good. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Let's hang out, and we'll bring you up in a little bit. Right. Uh, we are the we are, we we are, are the, the plagiarists, uh, plagiarists and we are. Uh, that's Peter. I'm, I'm Kat. Kat. We're with Three Rivers Press. Uh, uh, <laughs> so. Uh, we have a couple more readers two tonight more readers. at session two of the International Dada, Virtual Dada Festival, uh, the second annual International Virtual Dada Festival. Uh, this is um, session two. America's part one. America's so, part one, part two, because this is the second right. half. So <laughs> who's next? Oh, well, look, we have Ingrid Went All the way from uh, over in Oregon. So. Oregon. Nice Hello. to Thank you, Ingrid. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for having me um, yeah. at this great distance, but not as far as Peru. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the true. farthest. Yeah. And actually, um, I was thinking like my I'm half Chilean, so but I'm living in Oregon. My father was born and raised in Chile. So it's sort of a neighbor to um, the, from Peru, our, our guest from Peru. Um, and um, so here in Oregon, I was really captivated by your theme. I, 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 um, and I'm really honored to be in this journal. I, it's so much fun and I'm having a great time tonight. It's great being toward the end because I got to see everybody else and I can comment how much fun it's been. And I love the variety. And uh, that last poem, uh, poem piece made me hungry. So for a, I really would love to do a good rant and cook a good rant. Um, my poem is titled To Dwell in 2021 and it's on page... 128 in in Montana and uh oops everything's backwards here there it is oops wait a minute like there we go <laughs> can you see it um i had a lot of fun with this the title is is playing with emily dickinson's poem fam very famous poem to dwell in possibility uh it's a fairer house than prose and so I thought, okay, let's dwell in possibility. Let's dwell in 2021. And what do we have to do to dwell in 2021 and go forward and reboot? So I started thinking about all the different things we need to do that begin with the word or with a syllable, R-E. 
And there are so many words that came into my mind, into my mind. we have to do so many things to, to over again, um, that I had to limit it somehow. So I decided to play with this and I went to my dictionary and I found all the RE words that began with, the, the third letter was A. And so I made a whole list of the RE, A words, reassign, realign, etc. And then I thought, oh, some of these rhyme. So I put them together and rhymed them. And then I, anyway, I got tired. Um, to dwell in 2021, there's a, a an epigraph by William Stafford, who was well, one of my mentors. And I love this line from one of his poem, poems, justice will take us millions of intricate moves. Justice will take us millions of intricate moves. To dwell in 2021. I'm going to put this up here so you can kind of see how it appears in the page. Can you see that? Cat, Peter, can you see it? To dwell in 2021 is to reassign pride to listening, realign want and need, reapproach, reassess, reassure, readdress, reaffirm rearrange, reattempt, reacquaint, is sometimes to get very tired. Remember Atlas? The world on his shoulders was so much smaller back then. Thank you. All right, Ingrid, Thank you, Ingrid. We, you, we tied in, we should have put it on our piece, which is near the back. Atlas. Yeah. I noticed that. I thought that was yeah. so cool. We were both thinking the same thing, like right. Right. the right. world. But I love, <laughs> I love your reboot button or your your right. power button there. One more. Yeah. The, world, the, power, the power button. Wow, that is so That's cool. That's right. Okay. Thank you so much. And Thank you. Ingrid. Just wait, and we'll, we'll bring we'll you up bring for back, at, back at the end. Okay, okay. So we have one more reader tonight, and that is none other than the one, the only. Yo. George Wallet. Wow, George Wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Peters and Pans, cats and rats. George Wallace could not be here. Instead, I'm here in his place, Robert Pierre. And the future is an endless horizon of pairs. Do not ask the piano player seated alone in a dark corner of the Chadois. When it's closing time, the last customer done and gone. For a song about the future, for every man in every age, the future dies too young. He will tell you, returning in gradual silence to his cognac, and dying cigarette. Failing to mention that it is also reincarnated as a pair. Thank you, Dadaists. Thank wow. you. Wow. Whoever, whoever you are, thank you. You look and sound <laughs> like George Wallace, but not all the way. So, nice. wow, okay. that was pretty fabulous. Uh, Robespierre, thank you so much. Robespierre, we were uh, uh, okay. All the way from Cheeseburger, USA. Right on. So um, that's our show for tonight. To yeah, end it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Okay. Uh, all right. We're gonna. We're gonna. Okay. We're gonna, so we're I've gonna got. I've got to wrap second. up here with. Uh, we are gonna open our submission period for Maintenant sixteen uh, right. on January first. Uh, it will start on January 1st, 2021 and go through March 1st, 2021. And our new theme is net zero. Uh, it is, uh, you know, they're telling us, oh, we're going to take the carbon out of the air and uh, 2022. put it back. 2022, excuse me. Uh, and, and, and I made a mistake. Uh, I will make many more, uh, uh, especially during the, but net zero. Uh, when are they going to do anything? They're they're talking the hot air they can't even take out of the air. You know, the hot air keeps uh, going and they'll never even take that out of the air, let alone the carbon or anything else. So whether or not it's a power grab is some are, are uh, thinking we're going to take our own power grab with 
mention on 16 and uh, create art as a power grab. So uh, we are net zero. That's going to be our theme. So I hope everybody is inspired by that. Take it on. And uh, we will send out our uh, submission uh, uh, call for submissions here pretty shortly into December. So thank you All right. for joining so, us. It's been a wonderful night. We're uh, the, let's bring everybody back. We're going to bring everybody back. But we are All the, right. uh, we are the uh, plagiarist. Plagiarist. Uh, plagiarists. And uh, we uh, have uh, done it all. So all right. uh, let's bring everybody up to to a da 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 finale okay so this is just our second half and uh we just uh, Un like unmute to end it with a, can. uh unmute and say we're uh, talking about da da so da 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 Thank you all for coming and uh, we'll see you uh, next week on Tuesday at two o'clock. Where we're going, uh, we're going to. There's, 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 there